Hello again, my sneaky friends. My name is Sativ, and today we're going to be breaking down Assassination's damage in Warlords of Draenor, so that you guys can understand better where all the damage was coming from. Since Assassination isn't dealing large crits or anything like that, most of its damage is coming from small numbers compiling on top of one another that just melt through health bars. First, let's go ahead and examine some of the new perks that we've got and how some of the abilities are going to be functioning with one another. As we know, when you use Envenom, you get a short buff that increases your poison's chance to proc by an additional 30%, putting your poison's at almost 100% chance to proc. While a new perk that you get through leveling is introduced to assassination called Empowered Envenom, while Envenom is active, you deal 30% more damage with Mutilate and Dispatch. Dispatch and Mutilate are hitting really hard already. I feel like Mutilate has been buffed significantly. It has a lot more upfront damage. And another thing that contributes to Assassination performing much better in PvP now is Wound Poison does a lot of damage up front, and Deadly Poison does a little bit more damage over time, but the initial damage is significantly lower, so the two are much more competitive, which is a refreshing change of pace for Assassination since it depends greatly on poison damage. Another thing that contributes to Assassination having such serious upfront damage is its new 4 set bonus which gives you a 5 combo points and 100% chance to crit on your next ability whenever you use Vanish. If you're curious more about the other set bonuses for the other specs, I've got a video covering that as well. Alongside this 4 set bonus, Enhanced Vendetta guarantees the next ability you use after popping Vendetta will crit. So that's two guaranteed critical strikes whenever you need them. One of them is on a 1 minute cooldown if you use a Glyph for lowering your Vanish CD, which is Glyph of Disappearance, makes your Vanish flat minute CD, but it doesn't activate stealth after, you have to personally do it yourself, though Vanish will still remove you from combat, allowing you to stealth anyway, but I mean, you mostly use it to get those combo points and that guaranteed crit. Then you can stun and Venom with Prey the Week up, pretty nuts. Or if you're using Night Stalker, you can get an extra 50% damage from stealth, which not sure if it's worth wasting your Vanish just for that 50% damage, but when I was trying to figure out which specs can do the biggest burst, you know, just flat out hugest burst potential, I used Night Stalker for both subtlety and assassination. So let's go ahead and turn on World of Logs and get things rolling, start recording our combat. I'm going to go for the most Mongolid opener I can here. Let's go. Get my Rupture up, get a Mark for Death and Venom rolling straight away so that I can get that extra 30% damage on all of my abilities. Here I'm going to vanish for the Night Stalker and Venom. As you can see, all my abilities are dealing 30% additional damage. Basically throw my entire Vendetta, which is quite a big increase. You know, 30% from Vendetta and then 30% from the Envenom buff. And because I have such, you know, guaranteed criticals, I'm running the Multi-Strike and Chance which bumps my multi-strike chance up to 35%, which is way higher than my crit chance. So you're not really seeing very many gigantic crits. You know, the biggest crit you'll see is about 40k, but I have a pretty high chance to multi-strike, and all of my abilities deal respectable damage. Mutilate deals respectable damage. Whenever I have Envenom up, all my Mutilates basically proc poisons as well, so... There's just lots and lots of damage coming out. Got my proc trinket up. I'm going to go ahead and get a crazy Venom here and see if it... Man, 64k in Venom. That was without Vendetta. So, Assassination has some psycho damage, man. And it's all so consistent, too. So let's break down this little encounter that we just had. It was a minute and 20 seconds, and at the beginning of our encounter, we were at 85,000 DPS with Shadow Reflection and Vendetta rolling. Shadow Reflection was putting out some okay damage. It dealt around 110,000 in our opener, which is pretty significant considering a player's health pool is around, you know, 330,000 with stamina buff. At the top of our list is Wound Poison, dealing 23% of our damage. Uh, melee dealt 15%. But it's expected in a situation where we have 100% uptime on our target to have melee and wound poison overperform. It's really nice to see Envenom this far up on the list, considering uh, the 100% uptime. Now, Envenom had a big, huge 83,000 crit. I feel that's pretty beastly. 
considering my largest crit of subtlety was only 114k. So, you know, this happening alongside a bunch of wound poison procs and some melees going off, you know, that's some serious burst. So, Mutilate was around 21k crit for its biggest, with an average of 18,000. Mutilate wasn't hitting all that hard, but it's got the offhand going off at the same time every time, so... In total, if you combined, you know, Mutilate, main hand and offhand, it honestly dealt as much as melee swings, which is rather significant when you consider how much uptime we had on our target. I feel with the changes to Mutilate and Dispatch being more beefy, and in Venom having obviously pretty big dang crits, Assassination is going to be one of those specs where, you know, if you have a full bar of energy and you can stun your target full when they have no trinket, you could probably just put them down with nothing but a proc trinket. All in all, I feel Assassination's damage is much more consistent and way deadlier than it is in Mr. Pandaria, and if anyone's been a fan of playing Assassination in the past, you are going to be extremely satisfied with how it performs now in Warlords of Draenor. Until next time, my friends, I'd like you all to stay sneaky, and most importantly, I want you all to have a fantastic day.